Okay, this is what we call shotguns and basketballs. You ready, Dan? Yep. You know the rules? There are none. Okay, yeah. let's get ready. Okay, on three. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, pull! Ridiculous. I can't stand still this whole time. <laughs> Got it. Hey guys, it's uh, Scott with Tube Tape. We put together this clip so we could test uh, using hit film with PF Ho. Let me take you through the steps that uh, I did to accomplish this. So the first thing you want to do is go out and get some footage uh, where you have your actor stand really still and then use a dolly or some similar type of stabilizing uh, camera movement to just kind of go around them uh, and that will give you a nice shot which to composite the effects into. Okay, so you're going to want to take that raw footage and import it into PF Ho and then go ahead and run the uh, motion tracking and solving software. They have a really good tutorial online. I'll put a link in the uh, bottom of this video's description so you can see how to do it. So after uh, PF Ho did its solve, I, uh, I didn't really uh, tweak PF Ho that much. I just kind of ran it through the standard process that was in the tutorial. But the one thing I did when I exported it, I went ahead and I chose this uh, Adobe After Effects .ma file, this Maya file. And it seemed to work out pretty well. Here, I'll show you what I got over in HitFilm. All right, now here we are back in HitFilm. You can see that I already brought in the uh, raw footage. Now I'll go ahead and I'll import the camera tracking data. Do that. And then put my footage down below it. And let me go ahead and you can see it's given me about five null objects here, track points. Go ahead and select those. And you'll be able to see all these null objects are now connected in 3D space. So from that point it was uh, pretty straightforward. What I did was basically get one of these 3D gunfire effects and I uh, positioned it basically out in 3D space uh, right where I wanted it to be. And then I just parented it over to one of the null objects. They're actually not null objects, they're called points in hit film. And I did the same with the text. And that was about it. Uh, be sure to look for our next video coming out soon. It's the second part to uh, basic concepts. We're going to be doing more hit film, uh, virtual camera stuff inside of that one. Anyway, thanks a lot.